Hello everyone, I am Dr. Sukta Saxena and I am a consultant pediatric gastroenterologist and hepatologist at Manipal Hospital Dwarka. So, um, May month is celebrated as Celiac Disease Awareness Month and as you all know that celiac disease is an autoimmune disorder in which you have sensitivity or intolerance to uh, gluten protein. Now, uh, during this pandemic, parents of the children are really worried about their kids and they have a lot of apprehension and anxiety in their mind about any risk or con uh, problems associated with children who have already been suffering from celiac disease. So I would like to share that till date there has been no study or reports to confirm that children who are suffering from celiac disease are more prone to risk of severe illness from COVID-19 as compared to normal children. The Celiac Disease Foundation Medical Advisory Board also uh, states that patients who are suffering from celiac disease are in general not immunocompromised. Except for a small number of kids who might be severely malnourished or have significant weight loss or other, have any other associated condition. So there are certain important points that you need to remember in terms of what needs to be done during this pandemic time and what is very very important. First thing is regarding vaccination. So there appears to be an increased risk of pneumonia and herpes zoster infection in the kids who are suffering from celiac disease. Also there is increased risk of worse outcome if you get an influenza infection and decrease response to vaccination with hepatitis B. So it has been recommended that children in the age group of 15 to adults 64 years of age who has not received their primary immunization of the above vaccine should get their vaccination done. Also an annual influenza vaccine is advised to all these people in this age group. Now, what do you need to do when you are at home in quarantine or in the lockdown? First of all, ensure that you have enough supply of gluten-free diet or gluten-free food. Uh, you can try new recipes with your child. For example, uh, you know, if your child likes a lot of basin, you can make basin, lachila, khaman, khandi, different things. So you can plan your day that what the child would like during breakfast, lunch, dinner. Please make sure that the physical activity of the child is not hampered because they are in the long term state. So they need to be physically active because they are more, being, having celiac disease, they are more prone to constipation. So keeping them physically active doesn't make them more constipated. Uh, finally, uh, you know, it's very important to take care of their mental health. So it's important to tell them what's going around. It's important to teach them about social distancing, wearing masks, cleaning surfaces, regular hand washing. You can do an exercise with them in which you can clean your, their room or you know, clean their toys. Discuss what has been going around to relieve any anxiety or stress that the kids might be having. If you see that your child is having symptoms of COVID-19, for example, if they have cough, high fever or difficulty breathing, headache, loss of smell or taste, then you should consult your specialist immediately. Stay home, stay safe. Thank you.